Hi guys, looking at this you might think I'm about to talk about this little transmitter that I picked up in the charity shop the other day and that's what I was going to talk about but I'm not. This takes a 9 volt battery so I was going to use one of my Loitron rechargeable 9 volt batteries which are wonderful, I love them and I put it in there and it didn't work and when I measured the voltage out of here I was getting something like 5 volts um, in fact let's see if we can rig this up and see what we're getting today can you see that? probably not Much sunlight, isn't there? How about that way? No. That's better. Right, so what are we getting today? Not a lot. Push it a bit harder. Nine volts. Because these rechargeable batteries go way over voltage when you fully charge them. So 9.2 volts there. Um, it was even higher. But if you just connect on, we're getting virtually nothing. Which is why I've taken the case off. I think this one's got damp at some time. I don't know if you can see, there's a little bit of crystallisation on the outside of the metal there but more importantly that fella just pops off yeah there's my problem that's green and crystalline in there and it's popped off of this little bit and I'm a bit stuck as to how I'm going to put it back together because I can't push that through there and re-crimp it with that attached because there's no space to get under there to crimp it. So the only thing I can think of doing is taking this cover off entirely, taking the top off one of these other batteries that are dead anyway, and soldering leads on here so that I've got one with a flexible lead on the end of it and a connector. Be no use whatsoever for plugging in there because it'll be the wrong length because it'll have a lead on it. But it will be useful in other 9 volt applications. So that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, I can't even get these apart. So I suppose I could try and unfold it and then try and recrimp that. There's nothing there. I mean, it's not coming through far enough anyway. Yeah, I think that's my best bet. Take the top off one of these, solder some leads on it, solder it on there. Because that's a good battery. I, I do like them. But, uh, but it's failed. So, that's what I'll do. I'll put it back together with a little solder lead on it and then we'll do a separate video on why I've taken this one apart. I suppose I could just show you taking one of these apart. If they're the ones these are uh, with metal casings you can just peel them apart but do be aware that you can get sharp edges. Well, you can see why this one's no good. <laughs> Ugh. That's all liquid in there. tissue. Yeah. Right. Well, that 
that's the bit that I want. So I'll just strip this off, solder some leads on it, and then solder that onto that tag and that tag. There we are, finished article. Put a hot glue over it just to seal the terminals. Same on the back of there. Uh, yeah, that way around, isn't it? Can you see that? Or is that too dark? That sunlight's a bit bright today, isn't it? So, saved it. Say, so no use at all for a case like that, because it's not going to hold itself in place. But it does mean I can still use it. So, we better have a look at that one now. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily. So don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. My second channel, Grandad's other channel, is where I put the longer videos with more detail. Then there's my Facebook page and you can follow me on Twitter. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. And if you fancy some Grandad merchandise, I have two shops, one on Redbubble and the other on Cotton Car. Finally, you can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.